Gardeners have been using rice to feed soil microbes for generations. But here's the real question. Does raw rice or cooked rice supercharge your soil faster? I ran an experiment, and the results might just surprise you. Microbes are the true engines of soil fertility. Feed them right, and they multiply like crazy, breaking down organic matter and releasing nutrients your plants can actually use. Rice is full of carbohydrates which microbes love, but not all rice is equal when it hits the soil. So I decided to put it to the test. I buried equal amounts of raw rice in one section and cooked rice in another. Both were covered with a thin layer of soil and lightly watered. Then I monitored microbial activity, worm attraction, and how quickly each broke down. Here's what I saw. Raw rice took longer to soften and start breaking down. Microbes needed time to get through its tough starch structure. Cooked rice, on the other hand, broke down almost instantly. Microbes and worms swarmed it within days, not months. After just two weeks, the cooked rice plot had visibly richer, darker soil teeming with fungal threads and worm castings. The raw rice plot did eventually catch up, but it was slower and attracted fewer worms early on. But there's a catch. Cooked rice can also attract ants or pests if you leave it on the surface. Always bury it a few inches down to let microbes and worms do the work safely. So what's the verdict? Cooked rice is the clear winner for fast microbial growth, but raw rice can still be valuable as a slow-release carbon source, especially in compost piles where it eventually fuels fungal activity. Next time you have leftover rice, don't toss it. Feed it to your soil microbes, and you'll be shocked how quickly your soil comes to life. Would you try cooked rice or raw rice in your garden? Comment below, I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you found this helpful, hit subscribe for more soil-first gardening secrets.